Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the JF-17 and we're looking at laser guided bombs. So, armory screen, center pylon, we can have GBU-10, GBU-16, 2,000 pounds, 1,000 pounds, laser guided bombs. Now note that if we're going to do this and we're not relying on a third party laser like a JTAC, like a third party aircraft with a T-Pod, we're going to need our own T-Pod. So on the center, I'm going to take the WMD-7, which we have a full video of how to operate. Pylons 3 and 5, again, we get the GBU U10 and the GBU16. Parlance 2 and 6, we get the GBU12, which is a 500 pound variant, or a BRU33 rack with two times GBU12s. Just to have some real good fun, I'm going to take four of them because why not? So, cartridge in, as usual, the usual process, the DTC SMS update. <laughs> Now we're updated and ready to go, but one thing before we do that, if we're going to drop bombs on a laser code that is anything other than 1688, we will need to change hard code these actual bombs. The way we'll do that is talk to our ground crew. Ground crew will change laser code, and we can change the hundreds, the tens, or the unit. Let's say we want to change the tens. Let's say we want to change it to five. Let's update uh, the bombs on, say, the left outer pylon. Then you can see they've gone ahead and they've changed the laser codes for those bombs there so that they are 1588 rather than 1688. Now I'm going to put them back to 1688 because that's what I'm going to use. I just wanted to let you know you'd have to do that if you're going to drop them on a different laser code. But in the air now, so let's check master arm is on, which it is. Let's go air to ground master mode. Let's set our bomb up. Oh, we've got four GBU 12s, they're armed. We're going to go mode auto. We've got all these different modes we can use. We are almost always going to use auto for GBUs. Quantity. Uh, we can drop one, two, or four at the same time. And because we're super cool, we're going to drop four. Interval in milliseconds between each drop if we want to ripple rather than salvo. I want a salvo because I want them all to hit at once. Our breakaway altitude is simply not going to be relevant with GBUs. Fuses. We're going to make them nose. And that's it. That's everything there. Set up and ready to go. And we confirm what code they are here. They're hard coded to 1688. And over to this page where we're going to need to set our T pod up. So menu pod WMD7 on cage. Again, I've got a full video on the T pod, so I'm not going to talk about it. I'm just going to get it done. Make that screen soy. We can find some bad guys. They look like bad guys. They are bad guys. I am going to lock up one of those in a point track. I've now got a point track. That's a speed created and I'm now ready to go and bomb. So what we've got here is our basic CTRP or auto bombing symbology along with a range of eight miles. I'm not going to talk through it again because I've got a full video on CCRP or auto bombing. So I'm just going to go and get it done. You can see our speed there and you can see our teapot there. So we're going to unpause. We altitude doesn't really matter as long as you're over about 5,000 feet obviously it's a precision guided weapon the higher generally the better so I'm gonna get all of my points aligned I'm gonna wait for the beep wait for the beep before I press and hold weapon is released press and hold weapons release and that should be all bombs gone. Change the config. And what we should see here is our laser. I'm just going to pause it there so you can see our laser started lasing. Because I had the T-Pod set to automatic laser, it waited a few seconds until terminal mode for the bombs. Now it's lasing. Those bombs should now go and catch the uh, laser. Here we have our beautiful four salvo bombs. Note you can actually do this against other aeroplanes as well, which is pretty cool. And he's really going to die. Oh, three of them just hit something else. I don't know what they hit. Oh, they hit each other. <laughs> three of them hit each other. And I don't know. The other one got through. That's pretty cool. And that's it. Simple as that. I'd almost always uh, use auto mode, like I said. Otherwise, there's not much more to say. I hope that was useful. And see you later.